Hi everyone, this is Kim. Um, I am a creative design team member for Country Craft Creations and everything I'm going to show you today I received from Tammy Merrill who is the owner of Country Craft Creations and this is actually my second haul um, as a design team member and she sent me some fabulous things to work with and I'd like to share them with you so that you can see the types of things that she sells at her store. Um, I'm going to start with the paper line. The paper line is by Blue Fern and it's called Memoirs and it's beautiful. I started looking at it already. Haven't been through the whole uh, pack yet of papers, but so far what I've seen is absolutely gorgeous. And so um, I think that Tammy knows my style. I'm kind of more of a vintage, shabby chic type of crafter. And so the paper line she chose for me is just absolutely um it's me. Totally me. The first one she sent me was also by Blue Fern, so I know the um, quality of the paper is high quality. It's a little bit thicker and really nice to work with. So I'll start with, first of all, there are two pieces of each design. And the first one that we're looking at, are it's the calling cards. And there's 10 of them on here, not including the uh, words My Story and Family Chronicles. You have a, an adorable little bird in a uh, stopwatch. You've got the old-fashioned camera. A little girl that says that says My Story. A vintage typewriter. Postcard. There's beautiful flowers on this. The colors on here are very cool too. Um, there's some blues. Kind of a salmon slash rust color. But yet there's pinks too. Real pretty. They don't clash. They really blend nicely together. Uh, and the back side is like newspaper print. The colors on here are kind of the brown, like, like a tan, tea stain, um, beige. Some of the uh, print is that uh, salmon-y rust color. So that's the first one. The next paper uh, piece is called Songbird Drama. I love these names. We've got a songbird, obviously, with some flowers in the corner. And then up in this corner, we have another bird with flower. There is a stripe uh, of hearts in the background. You can see some writing every once in a while on the paper also. And the back of this is going to knock your socks off. I already saw it. It is so rich and so bold. The color on here is fabulous. Super, super bold. Makes a statement. So this is what it looks like together. So look at how this paper picks up the color from over here. I love that. That really stands out. It's awesome. The next paper uh, from the collection, remember it's called Memoirs from Blue Fern. We have a lot of things going on here. It's fun just to look at all the different things that have been put on here. Between flowers and a swan and a girl with a, what do you call it, lyre, lyre, lyre? Is that what that's called? The musical instrument? No. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh, butterfly, books, more flowers. You got the Eiffel Tower. Super pretty. And then on the other side of this one, uh, the colors on here are kind of a gray, blue, uh, but real subtle. I'm trying to think if there's a color that it would, eh, not yet. But then up in this corner, there's a darker version. Okay, then we have Grand Sequel, and we have some pretty flowers and like a Baroque scroll type thing in the corners. All four corners have it. Trying to get it up close for you, and then in the middle you have some a uh, saying. It's a French saying. And the other side is uh, six by six pieces that you can cut. So that will help me decide if I want to make a six by six album. I might do that. Usually I make a bigger album, but whenever there's six by six pieces, sometimes I'm kind of 
more apt to do that size album. Love that vintage typewriter. Love it. That's super cool. Okay. Next one I also like a lot. It's got that camera in the corner. Uh, this is called Photographic Record. The corn I love this piece right here in the corner on the right hand side. And then up in the upper left, you've got some flowers and a butterfly and a uh, ribbon. So one of the things um, that Tammy sent with me uh, to me with this paper line is some seam binding for tags or just for decorating in general. And this blue, she sent a seam binding that's very similar to that color. So that matches awesome. So I can use that on a tag or something. That looks really good together. So this is one of the pieces of seam binding she sent. I like using the seam binding either flat or crumpling it and giving it that aged look by getting it just real damp, uh, a little bit wet, and then rolling it in my hands. Okay, the other side of this paper are postcards. Lots to, lots to look at here too. Okay. This uh, is called Autumn Biography in the collection. That corner is really cute with the two young girls, birds. And we have up in the corner a little bit of script, some flowers. This paper is just so, so pretty. Uh, this side is more of a rose uh, pinks, that type of color. You can see a slight brick background. Got some script up in the corner. Let me. Okay, there's more. This one, oops, upside down, is called Twilight Fable. And Twilight Fable has the lantern up at the top. It has a butterfly. We have um, flowers along the border. Now, one of the other colors of seam binding she sent is kind of a salmon slash rust type color. And it picks up the color that's in some of the flowers. So can you see how well that goes together? Perfect. It matches just right. The other side of this, I love it. Um, kind of reminds me of like old fashioned like wallpaper type things in like a Victorian house or something. The flowers are real pretty and the colors are really nice. I like the scrolling uh, background behind the flowers. Can you see? There we go. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Okay, and remember there's two of each. Now this next one, the colors are so beautifully uh, put together and nice and bold. So this is a little bit different than the, you know, a lot of times I'm using a lot of pinks, but this has some browns and blues and so it'll be really nice to work with. One of the other colors of seam binding that uh, Tammy sent from Country Craft Creations is kind of a chocolate uh, brown. And so that will go good as it picks up some of the brown on the paper. And then up in this corner, we've got some flowers. And again, you don't want it to match perfectly so that it's nice that it's a little bit darker. Uh, again, this was, uh, if I didn't mention it, Nature's Novel. And on the other side, we have just a pattern. Real Victorian looking. That blue fur knows its papers for vintage, shabby chic, like a romantic paper. I really like this uh, paper line. Uh, next, we have Remember When. And we've got more flowers. So lots of flowers. There is a, like an old time watch with a bird in it. That there's some subtle blues, so I can use that seam binding. There's this, so let me put them together on the paper so you can see how well it goes. 
So you can see how nice it matches the flowers in the background. On the other side of Remember When, oh, that's pretty. This kind of reminds me of like a French hotel. Um, can you see the color? There's also, I have one more color of seam binding that was sent. And it matches this paper perfect. The color of the goldish yellow. This is probably hard to see the color on the camera because when I look through my camera, it looks like it's more yellow and it's not. It's more of a gold color. So it's not real bright. But ooh, the lighting makes it look like, like it is. So ignore that because that's not the color it is. Okay. And we're getting close. Oh, one more. And then we're done. Um, this is called Chronicles, which is why there is a beautiful Victorian old vintage typewriter. And there's print on the, in the background. Really nice paper. And the back of that one has more of that, the browns on the back. So if, as I've been showing you this, you're like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Check out Country Craft Creations. The paper line is Blue Fern, and it's called Memoirs. Um, along with that, remember, she does have the seam binding. So there were four colors that she sent to match the paper line. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on and look at some of the other things that she sent. One of the things that was in there is also a Blue Fern Studios um, chipboard piece. This actually measures six and a half inches long. So it's a bigger uh, piece of chipboard. I will go in and, you know, punch out all those little pieces that haven't come out. You can leave it this color. You can use a stain. You can use paint. You can use glitter. You can use embossing powder. I'll probably end up using embossing powder. And that's called the Cuckoo Clock. Okay, again, it's by Blue Fern. Just like last time, she sent me this beautiful lace that I think could go with any kind of project, whether you're doing an autumn, fall, cutesy type project, or like I did in my last video when um, I made the Attic Charm mini album. This also is very beautiful and looks very feminine. Uh, on an album that's more shabby chic too. So it adapts to whatever kind of project you're doing. And it's really soft and nice to work with. It's a cream color, it's not a white. So thank you Tammy for that because that's always useful. Um, she sent some charms that I can use in an album. There are two pearl charms that are close to one inch in diameter. There, it has like a golden black uh, filigree edge. Okay. And there are three birdcage charms that are the gold, not a shiny gold, but a gold and black back, like hue to it. Okay, three of those. And I think when you order them, they come in sets of three, too. Uh, two more things to show you. Um, one is uh, the Graphic 45 Mixed Media Box. Uh, it has a magnetic closure. This measures five by five inches. There are some uh, cardstock photo mats inside. So I'll be making probably two projects with the paper line. One will be a mini album, and then I'll do use the box. Here's the example they have on the back of what you can do. And it's a heavy chipboard. And the last thing, thank goodness that she sent me because I was running dry, is the art glitter glue. And people, I'm telling you, if you have not used it, you need to give it a try. It is awesome glue. You can use it on just about anything. Um, I am a big score tape person. Uh, for the construction of my books, 
but I really have been using a ton of the art glitter glue and it seems to last a lot longer. You can uh, use it for quite a few projects. When you order, you get the fine tip and the pin to keep it from clogging. Um, if you don't put the fine tip on and just leave it, you just get a thicker line of glue. Um, so let me take it out of the bag so it's just easier. But here's what it, it's uh, two ounces. And it is a rock star glue, let me tell you. I have been converted. I was hoping she would send me another bottle being as I was almost out. So those are the supplies I get to play with and I will put a tutorial on uh, here on YouTube when I've made it and show you the steps and the process of how you can make the same uh, item if you're interested. Please remember you can visit Country Craft Creations for any of the things that you saw that you might have been interested in. Uh, if you have not already, please check out the Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook and request to join. Uh, we have some fun things going on and uh, some interesting things going on. Um, the Country Craft Creations Mafia. We have a little mystery going on. So if you have not checked out the Facebook page, please do so. Thanks so much. Uh, I will be returning with a great project to share with you. Have a good evening.